Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, continuing our playthrough of the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War campaign. So, uh... Let's start from interrogation. I had a disconnect, uh, and I... Yeah, I lost well, some of my footage, that was so... A goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. All right, let's look at these bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Uh, looks like I've been Adler, strapped stop in. Stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have to. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Put the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Ow! Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. Okay. We, we had a job. job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. You got it. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran Ouch. forward and picked up an M16. M5. Maybe it was another one. Oh, there's an M16.
Okay, I got him. The remaining VC fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. Actually, what's in that house? Anything? Any intel? Nope. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. You can't tell me what to do. line nearby was the best way back to the game. You wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. How we go this way? Bell, turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Nope. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. Stirred up a hornet's nest. Roger that. Chopper inbound. This was the bunker entrance you described in the report. Okay. Christ, what's happening to him? A mild seizure. Sims, can you hand me the benzodiazepine? The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with their advanced enemies. We've got a job to do. Let's up the dosage and run 1B this time. Okay, ready. Run 1B? What does that mean? According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. Oh, I got a bow. You readied your bow to take them out silently. Nice.
can I take out all of them? I'm like Rambo here. Shoot. Your assault rifles are no match for my bow and arrow. Come on. Go. There's a TV there for some reason. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Now I'm going to go left again. Switch up. Okay, that's weird. Heal up a bit. Okay. The zip line nearby was the best way back. We wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. Okay, Lazar's there and he's moving no. weirdly. Turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Okay, can't use that. Okay, can't go there, it seems. Alright. I guess I have to use a zip line. Statue of Lenin? No, Bell. You found the bunker by going into the cave. Why is it? Since it's the scenario 17. The Can Aller see, like, my dreams or something? Okay, it's running from something. Can I crawl down here? Nope. It's not letting me move. Sounds like... Zombies! Okay, this is... Really weird. One hit really hurts. Ah, they got me. Stop lying, Bell. Start again and tell me how you met Perseus. Okay, that was weird. A lab? That doesn't sound right. Bell's in the lab? Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Adler's there. Oh, I can't turn it back on. Okay. This isn't working. Administering one cc of adrenaline. That's it, though. That's what you were looking for. Perseus was in there. Okay. I guess that's them looking in on me. Oh, okay, I'm in a room now. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. We'll have to establish trust by building up a shared history of the subject. We have a job to do. Another dose. We'll keep rerunning scenario one. Bell, we've got a job to do. I wouldn't advise that. I didn't ask. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. Ooh, grenade launcher. You readied a grenade launcher and charged it. Path split near a ruin, so you took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Yep, still going to go left. Stop fighting, Bell, and go right. Go back and take the right path to the bunker. Zombie cave again? No, Bell. Nope. You found the bunker Can't. by going into the cave. Okay. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Grenade. Seriously, no one dead? Come on. Cancel shot. Let's just go with this shotgun. Shotgun. Yes, 
Red fell. door. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Won't open. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Uh. Oh. Another red door. Park, give Bell another injection. That could be lethal. Do it now. Bell's heart rate is already. Heart rate Ooh, is tripping, tripping I'm not out. Not sure how much longer Bell can last. No, the door. Here. Everything's stabilizing. Play kaboo. Heart rate is coming down now. Yeah, we'll just quit. Would love to, but they're all closing on me. One it wants me to go through a door, but Turn around. no, must crawl. Which Stop door? Wasting my time with this hallway. I'm trying not to waste your time. You're wasting my time. Turn around, Bill. Uh, oh, okay. What the lab? What the hell is Bill doing in the lab? Oh, Bell, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume our... Nova 6. I can't read that. Operation Greenlight? Uh, top one. Do not trust. We've known each other for years. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. Bet you the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job for you. Can Bell survive another round? Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. So, was Bell like a former Russian operative? Got conditioned? We is that what this already. it is? Skip ahead to the next part. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. <laughs> Bell, go into the bunker now. Okay.
talking to TVs? No. You're the only one who knows where Perseus is. Where he'll detonate the nukes. Where is he, Bell? Comrades. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. You gotta admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Huh. So I was programmed. Soviet person, I guess. Coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? Who am You're I? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. What did you do we to me? We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell. You were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. Ha. Huh. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Duva. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duva alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks to hide you. I don't want the competition. No. Oh. We were there. We found you after everything went down. Let's say you're lying. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity. The old. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. You even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. 
The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. How did changing my identity help you? Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. What did Enough I give to you? get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Fell, come on, you've got a job to do. You've got a job to do. You've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind the door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Green Lagos, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? You know what? Let's go with truth. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. I guess so. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. F4C talk yet? Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. Yep. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. Final countdown. Coming up like that song. Belikov really came through in the Soviet armor. Hot time you caught up with. No way I'm missing this. Motherfuckers are gonna pay for Isa Lazar. Look at your chance. Solovetsky's two clicks out. All units, EMP in transit. Starfish inbound, 100 knots. That baby hits will have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our war birds a clean shot. Take off the air. All right. Ooh, that's bright. Fuck me, that loses the filling. Light him up. Power. Bad guys. Lots of bad guys. Do this. Hey, guns, straight ahead. 
RPG! Ow! there just eat to the heal shotgun ah no shotgun ooh mini gun Ah, hit from behind. Boo. Ah. Damn it, let me have some fun and minigun. Okay, better just take care of them first. Gotta run. 
rest. Radio towers are still floating up. We got a chance. All right, all right. Now, mini gun. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. We stopped them. Those towers are history. What's your situation down there? Come in. Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hit! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. Sure looks this like it. This is a message to Perseus. And those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah, after capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Not anymore. We took down that son of a bitch Aldrich, as well as his key assets here in the States. It'll take Perseus a while to recover from this one. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We didn't eliminate any of Rudnik's key assets, though. We'll have to deal with that problem down the road. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Are you gonna shoot me? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. 
One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me... It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. Yep. That's what I thought. So I guess credits roll? Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'll just skip that. Okay. So... Alright, so I guess that is the playthrough of the Call of Duty Black Ops uh, Cold War campaign. So I guess some uh, quick final thoughts on the campaign. Overall, if I had to describe it, it is a Call of Duty single player campaign. And what I mean by that is that it's got, you know, a lot of action, a lot of explosions, um, you know, just a really good, really technically well done first person shooter i did like the angle of being like a an under you know like the it focuses more on the clandestine undercover operations whether that rather than i guess the military uh side of things and i like you know the story had some pretty neat uh, twists and turns there but i guess if you, you were if you were never a fan of the Call of Duty single player campaigns, this probably won't change your mind. But if you are a fan, then I think that you will you know find something to like in the single player campaign. But obviously, this is not the last you'll see of Cold War. I do intend to play some of the multiplayer modes, and I'll periodically post those uh, videos to my YouTube channel as well. So, uh, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough of the single-player campaign of Cold War. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.